congratulations with the new single. Uh, I want to dive in and talk about that creative process between the two of you and what was it like collaborating with, with one another? Well, I feel like it was honestly really easy. Kiana is an incredible artist. I also make music as an artist and so I sort of showed her the song and it was sort of half written and then Kiana brought in her own flavor to it. And that's kind of how it came together in a short, long and short. It was incredible. Like he said, he's also an artist, so giving me the opportunity to allow myself to come into the record and, and um, allow me to be on something so beautiful really means a lot. Now, what was it like working with Joseph Shirley? Um, and how did he allow you guys to be yourselves, but at the same time, like, challenge yourself, step up your game for this single? Honestly, I, I guess, like, I mean, I'm sort of saying the same thing again, but like we're both artists, so like, you know, songs can sort of have different feelings and emotions depending on who's singing them. And so I think like, that's a really big part of how songs translate. Because you, you, you know, certain songs like Bob Dylan might sing something and it sounds totally different, but then if Jimi Hendrix does it, it sounds totally different than that version. So I feel like that's kind of how in, I always interpret music and how songs get written is like the artist can give a lot of meaning and depth to the song. So. Kiana, what drew your attention with the lyrics and the music on the song? I mean, I think it just feels so theatrical. I'm a very dramatic person, so it, felt, it only felt right to put my drama into the song. Were there any like key points or key moments that you guys had vocally uh, during the recording process of, of this uh, the single? Go ahead. No, go ahead. I remember what you you did something at the end that I really liked. It was like this, whoa, whoa, and I was like, that was really cool. So I basically just doubled that part because I thought it was cool. So, that was fun. Yeah. I think honestly, like the video shoot, I felt like we really like there was such powerful vocals even at the video shoot yeah. that made it um, even more real. And the world itself was just so like it just brought this like big like perfect, magical, dramatic world. Like I said, again, I'm dramatic. I'm going to keep focusing on the word drama. But um, it just made it even more dramatic. And the woes, definitely, we were feeling that. Yeah. We were definitely yeah, feeling that. we were that. feeling it. We were feeling it. <laughs> definitely. Now, you just dropped your debut album earlier this year. Um, for you, you just dropped Irresponsible um, last month. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, those releases that just, just recently dropped? Yeah, so I actually put out uh, my first album, last year but it was like touring most of this year and so that was actually it was really fun like I felt I felt very connected to like my fans and all the different iterations of what I do live and so it was really cool to be able to express that and then also you know be involved in a project separate in, with, with someone else who's also talented so there we go um uh congratulations Thank you, thank you. Uh, Irresponsible coming out, I mean, it feels so amazing to be back. It's been, it's been, um, it's been a while since I released something. I think it did a lot for me creatively. Um, it kind of put me in a little bit of a hole um, for a little while and I had a lot of transitions to make. So after coming out of this new transitional period in my life and being able to come out with something that's completely me um, and feels like really true to R&B, it just felt so good and I'm glad that I could um, be able to connect with my fans again too from that song.